Glass blowing can be extremely dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Beginners rarely get burned if they're with somebody that tells them that's going to be hot. But an experienced glass blower, they start to get cavalier because they've done it so many times. Then you just grab it and lay something right on your hand. Burns, burns and cuts. You know, glass, hot glass. Unfortunately, you know, sometimes it's hot and it doesn't look hot. So when the glass is coming out of the furnace, same temperature as an active volcano, 2,100 degrees. So pretty crazy hot. Cuts and burns are pretty much a, a daily thing with us. Now, I've never burned myself drastically, but I have scars upon scars uh, in certain areas on my hands. Dave and I kind of built it with our bare hands um, as much as we could. And then we got the city involved. That's when the headaches came. <laughs> my name is Brandon Price uh, from Akron, Ohio. Uh, we're sitting here in my shop that I co-own with my partner David Sandage in Orlando, Florida called International Hot Glass. People get into it different ways. The way that I kind of stumbled into it, uh, I was going to Bowling Green. Uh, I'd done theater throughout my high school career. And then I got to college. Very quickly realized I was no longer going to be a theater major. I wasn't going to be an actor because if I was going to make money, that's where I had to be. So I came back and I started walking around campus trying to find something new to do. Uh, walked into the art building, looked through a little window, and they were playing with blow torches for college credit. Well, what led me into it is it was a job I could get while I was at school. And a friend of mine started the company itself. So I had easy access to an apprenticeship, which back then you didn't get paid until you made something they could sell. So for the first year, I probably made less than $2,000. This is something that I have been uh, studying and wanting to do for the past 12 years. So it's something that I've always been interested in. Uh, actually finally getting into a job to where you can learn it for free is really exciting. I'm definitely a beginner with glass blowing. I've been at International Hot Glass for a little over a year now since we've opened, but I probably have maybe less than four months under my belt with practice in glass blowing. You know, after 37 years of uh, working in glass, every day it's all I've ever done. Um, I, I guess I'm accomplished. You know, um, the word master, I suppose, is just uh, subjective, you know. Um, I started in glass at a very early age and um, was passionate about it and always have been, and I've been at it ever since. Dave and I met probably a decade ago, uh, maybe a little bit more. Uh, I had taken a job at Disney as their glass blower on Main Street in the Magic Kingdom here in Orlando. My first day on the job, I met Dave. Dave had been working on the torch for the Arribas Brothers Corporation at Disney for 20 years at the time. Um, and he had just recently started working in their new hot shop, which is what we call a soft glass studio. So we started to talk, obviously we were in close proximity and he wanted to learn more about the shop back here. So I kind of helped him through the process of learning this. He would teach me tricks on the torch. Um, and eventually we decided to kind of start our own business. David is a master, I think, in my book. It takes a lot more than just producing to be a master. You have to be creative, come up with your own designs, making sure you're heating the glass thoroughly so you get it, it's a flow. The glass will flow if you, if you heat it right. If you only heat one side of the rod, the backside is cold so it won't flow. Uh, with glass blowing, it is a dying art, so you do run into people who have been doing it for several decades, 20 years and plus, uh, but it is starting to come back, so you do uh, um, run into some students who have been doing it for a few years, and normally they haven't even gone to school for it, they've just seen it, bought a torch, and started teaching themselves at home. And so those are going to be the future glass blowers and the entrepreneurs of the glass business. So it's really hard to, to find experience and also people willing to teach you is also another hard thing to do. I've, I've trained a lot of glass blowers over the years um, in the factory or doing various workshops. 
and um, you know most pe people are fascinated with it that's why they're getting into it but everybody doesn't have the same level of innate talent everybody's gonna learn and progress at their own rate and I equate it to riding a bike I think anybody has the innate ability to do it some people are going to use training wheels for a very long time. Some people figure it out very quickly. Some people are going to go on to ride the Tour de France or jump a BMX 30 feet in the air. Not everybody will, but there's always exceptions. First off, you have to have a lot of patience because for a long time, the glass does not do what you want it to do. You think you've got it right, but the glass just gets out of control. It's something that is very interesting to watch people create and it just is mesmerizing how they can manipulate glass to create any sort of shape and it's something that I want to conquer and learn how to do and also I love fire. I'm a pyro so playing with fire all the time and playing with hot stuff is something that's really exciting to do as well. It's about inspiration. That is the biggest challenge you know um, as, as far as, as, as technique goes and the ability to manipulate glass um, I, you know I can, I can once I have my mind's eye uh, established and, and, and what it is I want to accomplish I'm usually able to execute but but to put together that 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 inspiration that that piece in your mind's eye um, th that takes some work you know creativity is going to be one thing and that's something that you can't really learn um, process and technique those are the ones that can be learned. Um, so once you can get your techniques down, your process down, then your creativity comes into play and you can create anything you can imagine.